Minecraft is a video game beloved by over a hundred million people. Whether you love it or hate it, you can't deny how strong of a presence it has on the internet. If you've ever gone onto YouTube to look for videos of Minecraft, chances are you've at least heard of the most popular parody song of the game, Revenge by Captain Sparkles. This iconic, almost eight-year-old song boasts over 181 million views. If you ask any Minecraft player to name all the parody songs they've ever heard of, and assuming they actually know the answer, this song would be in a significant number of those lists. Another video on YouTube, you would expect it to follow the typical course of a video. Most videos get barely any viewership throughout their entire histories. If you've accumulated a fan base, then perhaps your videos might get a good number of views in the first several days, only to die down and decay for the rest of their histories. Maybe if you're lucky, just lucky, one of your videos will suddenly get a huge surge of viewership thanks to the YouTube algorithm. But not this video. As a matter of fact, just recently, Revenge hit the number one spot on Genius. Some people might be surprised. Why in the world would some old video game parody song be higher up the list than Old Town Road and Bohemian Rhapsody? To that, I say good question. Today, we'll be answering it by taking a look at just how Revenge got popular and why it stays iconic to this day. Without any further ado, let's take a look at why Revenge is so popular today. First, before we can understand revenge, we need to understand the context surrounding it. In 2011, there was a Minecraft YouTuber who uploaded on a regular basis called Captain Sparkles. He began as a Call of Duty Black Ops YouTuber, but now he was a fully fledged Minecraft YouTuber. Unfortunately, I can't find anything definitive as to when he began growing rapidly but he was clearly well off by the end of June of that year. Captain Sparkles' TNT was uploaded on February 26, 2011. It was a parody to Tayo Cruz's Dynamite. This was during a time when Dynamite was widely popular. We can see through Google Trends that during the time of the parody's upload, while Dynamite was falling from its cultural peak, it still had a significant chunk of its popularity. With his great timing, Captain Sparkles was able to capitalize on Dynamite's popularity and create a parody song that was also popular. If we search Minecraft parody on Google Trends, we can see that the search term rose in popularity the month after TNT was uploaded, which really began three days after because February is just February. I know what you're saying. Zython, is it really fair to assume that some aggregated number based off of every single Minecraft parody in existence was greatly influenced by just one video made by someone who wasn't even super influential at the time? I would say that's a good point. But then we need to take a good look at all popular Minecraft parodies. Of every single Minecraft parody on YouTube that has over a million views, none of them were made before TNT. In fact, I personally believe TNT was the single video that kickstarted the concept of Minecraft parodies we know today. This first of its kind parody music video set a precedent in the Minecraft community. While TNT was certainly an influential video in the genre, it would go on to influence another video we all know and love. Captain Sparkles had a popular Minecraft parody song. How cool was that? On YouTube, and I guess this applies to business in general, it's always a great idea to follow up a popular video with a somewhat similar one. In this case, 
Captain Sparkles decided that he would follow up on his popular parody song with another parody. On August 19, 2011, Captain Sparkles released a parody song we all know as Revenge. This song was a big group effort. Captain Sparkles did a lot of the work, including animation, set design, writing the lyrics, post-production aspects, and the vocals for the rap segment. The main vocalist was Try Hard Ninja. Doc X Music worked on the audio production. Last but not least, Bootstrap Buckaroo helped with rigging, creating the character models, and being helpful in general. There is no denying that this video blew up not too long after it was released. As we can see from Google Trends, the amount of searches for Minecraft parody more than doubled from the month before the release of Revenge. I know it may be a bit of a stretch to, again, assume that one Minecraft parody by Captain Sparkles caused the whole genre's popularity to rise, but there's, again, evidence to back up my point. First off, the only Minecraft parody with over a million views that was made before Revenge was TNT. We can also look at Captain Sparkle's channel stats. On the day of uploading Revenge, he had a surge in new subscribers. Before the surge, he would gain somewhere just over 1,000 subscribers per day. Following the surge, he would gain anywhere from just under 2,000 to over 3,000 per day. Sure, Captain Sparkles wasn't purely a Minecraft parody channel, but it's clear that his parodies were significant sources of traffic to his YouTube channel. The Revenge music video got a ton of views and became very iconic. I wish I could say more, but the rest is history. Kinda. Remember how Revenge was a Minecraft parody? Well, that's just it. The beat was based off of a copyrighted song, the lyrics took a lot of inspiration from them. On April 8, 2015, Captain Sparkles privated two of his most popular Minecraft parodies, TNT and Revenge. Captain Sparkles didn't state the reasons at first, but we later found out it was due to copyright. By this time, Revenge had already amassed over 100 million views if there was one song most symbolic of the entire game, it would be that one. A lot of people were upset. Sure, re-uploads of the song still existed, but it was just not the same. Despite the copyright issues, Captain Sparkles found a way to bring back both music videos. In January 2016, Captain Sparkles made revenge public again after over half a year of being private. The most popular Minecraft parody was back, or was it? You see, when Captain Sparkles made TNT and revenge public again, he turned them both into original music videos. The video footage was still the same, but the audios of both videos were now completely original remakes. Now we could keep the videos up without any copyright implications, right? Well, the Minecraft community was pretty split in opinion over this. On one hand, many Minecrafters loved Revenge's revival and the new song. On the other, people were upset that now the video wasn't the original they'd grown to love. It just wasn't the same. Fortunately, the music videos eventually reverted back into their original forms. Now the videos were truly revived. Revenge finally being a parody again, it would definitely be easy to believe that it would just live out the course of its life, being forgotten as that one video that a lot of people watched a long time ago. That couldn't be further from the truth. In 2019 thus far, Minecraft has been seeing a resurgence in popularity. Everything Minecraft related is now becoming popular again in 2019 fashion. Because Revenge was so influential to the Minecraft community as a whole, the parody has also been seeing a resurgence. Revenge has been some sort of meme 
In a February 20th video made by Grande, the parody's famous first words, Creeper All Man, replace creeper noises. While Grande wasn't the first person to make a revenge-related joke, after all, they existed for quite a while, he was certainly one of the people who helped repopularize it. Revenge did not become a full-blown meme following this video, but perhaps it planted some sort of seed. And actually, Revenge didn't become popular again until this month, July. Now let's take a look at how Revenge stands today. Recently, a lot of videos have been getting attention where people on Discord try to have chains of the song's lyrics and just end up failing badly. Several days ago, Captain Sparkles announced that his parody song was number 13 on the Genius Lyric Charts. Three days later, it became first above all other popular songs, including Bohemian Rhapsody and Old Town Road. Even on Google Trends, we can see that Revenge's popularity is steadily rising, already at 40% of its peak popularity. Even today, the day of recording the audio, PewDiePie made a meme review that includes the meme. That is to say, this once popular song is now popular again. Regardless of if you like the re-rise or not, one thing is for sure. The Creeper can't steal our stuff this time. What do you think? Are you happy with the rise again of revenge? Let me know in the comments. Also, let's see if we can successfully make a comment chain of the lyrics. That's it for today's video. If you would like to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. If you hated it, don't forget to leave a dislike. You should also feel free to check out some of my other videos. You can click here to watch a video about the man who discovered PewDiePie's Minecraft World Seed. It's a truly intriguing tale. You can also click here if, for whatever reason, you'd like to hear me complain about text and speech write-up videos. I don't know why, but you can do that. That's it. See ya. Peace.